And even though this video is coming a little bit late into February, and I know not everybody has liked that, the month of self-love. Hello guys and happy February! The month of self-love to be exact, or the month of love if you're like in a relationship and everything. Of course we have a plan with me video today, nothing new, I love doing these every single month and I know a lot of you guys have commented or like DM'd me on Instagram saying that it's really helpful because y'all will sit down and plan at the same time I do. And even though this video is coming a little bit late into February, I personally filmed this before February, okay? I've been well prepared for February, getting my ish together and everything, but if you have not yet, because we're already a week into this, Go ahead and take this time, plan with me, pull out your bullet journal, pull out your regular planner, pull out your digital planner, pull out some sticky notes, I don't know, do whatever you need to do, but plan with me, let's get February under control. We are month two into 2022, so that means like, I don't know, check in on your New Year's resolutions, do whatever you need to do, but also don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't yet already, because I do these kinds of videos every single month, and if you don't want to miss out, then subscribe down below. I'll give you a second to go get your planner and all your planning supplies, that way you can plan with me, and we'll hop into this month's voiceover. Oh my goodness, hello and welcome to February. February already. By the time you guys are watching this, we're already like halfway through February, which is crazy. But as always, let's start out with our notable quotable of the month, which is on the brain dump page of this planner. I mentioned this in January, but they used to be housed on like the mainly monthly page kind of thing. But I wanted to make sure I could get as much planning note-taking, whatever kind of stuff on that page as possible. So I threw it in a couple pages later on the brain dump page. And this month's reads, just because you carry it well doesn't mean it's not heavy. And this one comes from Claire Harrison on YouTube. This one, like, mm, hit me hard because I feel like it does speak to me, not to get sappy on you guys, but honestly, check on your strong friends. Like, check on your happy friends, check on the friends that always check on you, that always seem like they don't need checked on, check on them. Because just because they're carrying it well and just because they seem like they're handling it well, it does not mean that it's not heavy, it doesn't mean that it's not stressful, and it doesn't mean that they don't need checked on. There was a TikTok that I saw that was kind of on the same token that was basically like, if you have a strong, independent girl who pays all her bills, who gets her shit done, who does the dishes, who goes through all of these lists of, you know, a girl doing all everything all the time, and then at the end it says, she's three seconds away from a mental breakdown. Like, there's nothing more true than that, and nothing more true for me and for a lot of other quote-unquote strong people. I mean, think about Encanto. Think about Louisa. Like, she was so strong, and yet she had a lot of emotions, and she needed taken care of, and sometimes she just wanted to sit around and be lazy and be taken care of like a child because at the end of the day, like, you just need to be cared for and loved by your friends, by your family, by your significant others, by yourself especially. And I kind of think that was important to throw in for February. So thank you so much, Claire, for that notable quotable. I think that one like is so heavy, it hits home, and I absolutely love it. But jumping into the actual planning portion, of course, I always start with paydays, always start with rents, or like all the bills and everything, and I always put in all of the holidays. And I personally love to add, I'm sure you guys noticed by now, all of like the funny like national holidays, at least ones that I can relate to or ones that I would want to celebrate. For example, this month we had like a national margarita day and I'm pretty sure there's one every few months and I'm okay with it. I'm going to write it down every few months. There was a fettuccine alfredo day, which is mm, my favorite day. There was like a doggy date night day. I absolutely loved it. National latte day, which we did actually like celebrate at work in a way, which was fun. But of course you can't forget Valentine's Day, President's Day, like your normal holidays. But I like to fill in the fun holidays just because they put a smile on my face. And I don't know, if I can have an excuse to eat fettuccine Alfredo, I will use it, which I did on February 7th. <laughs> and of course I had to throw in my new video stickers because of course videos came back this month. I took the entire month of January off, duh, as you guys already know. So I've been posting videos again. I'm really, really freaking excited. I know that the first week or two are probably gonna be redundant or things that you guys missed out on a long time ago, but I wanted to kind of play catch up. Hence why, you know, I'm posting a January plan with me and then a February plan with me in the middle of February, just because I have to play catch up since I took January off. So I apologize, but videos are back and I'm so freaking excited. But something else I'm really freaking excited about is using my vacation stickers here because I went down to Georgia, which by the time you guys are watching this video, I've already been and I've already come back because my sister had her baby shower. And I of course had to be down there for that. Me and my mom flew down there. So I got to use my vacation stickers that I don't get to use often because I don't really go anywhere 
everywhere, but to use my like countdown suns and my packing my suitcase and check into your flight. I don't know. I just love those because it makes the anticipation for a trip really freaking exciting. And I'm here for it. So the baby shower went amazing. It was so cute. I did vlog it. It will be coming out soon. Um, but as far as like planning goes, like that was exciting to just have that on the calendar because she's going to be due at the end of March as her official due date. Of course, it could come before, could come after, but we're, you know, in the countdown of baby time and that's really freaking exciting. And another really freaking exciting thing in February, which you guys just saw me write, is I officially hired my editors on February 1st. Like I sent out all of my notices of who was hired and unfortunately who didn't move forward in my process, which was probably the hardest part of this whole hiring process is saying no to people because I don't like that. Like I don't, I don't want to do that. It was the worst thing for me to do, but I will say it was a huge growing opportunity for me. And of course, sometimes you just have to do what you have to do, but I think the entire like hiring process that I did was awesome. I think it went really well for obviously it being my first time doing anything like this. And I now have three amazing editors that have been editing all my videos here in February so far. I know some people have been asking like, um, when do your editors start editing? And I'm like, oh, they already have. And you guys are like, oh, I haven't even noticed a difference, which was the point for me, at least. I didn't want it to be this abrupt change for you guys. So we wanted to ease into having editors in a way. But yeah, so fucking exciting. February was just like a jam-packed month, which was amazing. But moving into the journal prompts of the month, which I have every month in this planner. Again, if you guys want to comment your answers down below so you can, you know, journal with me in a little bit or just think about these answers. The three prompts for this month were, what is the quality you admire about yourself the most and why? What makes you feel confident? And the last one is, describe what your love language means to you and three ways you can show yourself this love. And I think that was important. I specifically chose these ones for February because not everybody's in relationships. Valentine's Day is kind of a rocky subject for some, so I wanted it to be focused on yourself and what you love about yourself and how you can show yourself love. So I love you guys, and I hope you enjoyed. I know it's only been two months of using my new digital planner, but I am in love with it. I'm also in love with just the color palette of it. I think it's gorgeous. I'm just a bright and bubbly person. And I know not everybody is like that because I have been asked to make like a very neutral planner, like no crazy fonts, nothing like fun, nothing just like, just a planner, you know? And I would love to do that. And I kind of tried to, but every time I just like, I throw in pink or I throw in like a nice curly font. Like I can't be bland. So I apologize for those of you who want just like a very neutral planner. I feel like everything I make is just going to be colorful and like really upbeat, if that's a word that you can use on like a physical product kind of thing, because that's just me. And it's really hard to create things that aren't natural to me. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed another month of planning with me. I hope you got planned if you haven't yet already this month. But before we go, as we always do, I want you guys to comment down below something that you're looking forward to this month, whether it be like a plan or someone's birthday or I don't know, a release of something. Like just tell me what you're looking forward to. Like what's in your planner that you circled like eight times let me know because although it already happened by the time you guys are watching this video that thing for me was definitely on February 1st where I like officially hired editors onto my team to like help me make content and everything and that's really exciting because it's a big step in my business and it's a scary step in my business but it's a big step and I'm really really excited for that step so that's definitely my thing that like has already been a highlight of my month but like was the thing I'm looking forward to this month so let me know yours down below I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I love you guys so much more than you'll ever know and I will see you in the next video. Bye!